a very good moment for us to have an opportunity of warm scent of for our uh, elder, father, uh, our political advisor, our leader, and a farmer, and you can name it. Uh, the man, as I did say when I went to pay um, um, uh, a homage to Senator Gideon Moy at the cabinet, uh, I did vividly say, and I'm happy the national newspaper did cover me, what, what, that this is the only person who made me what I am, the man who changed my life. Uh, because in my early public life, he invited me uh, through a lot of uh, research and so on uh, to have an opportunity during the introduction of multi-party democracy uh, to vie for the Butera seat on Kanu ticket. And uh, from there, in 1992, we remain friends up to date. And uh, even at his home, Kabarak, the last time I saw him recently, before he became sick, uh, he knew. And before that, he had shown me when I'm going to Kabarak, which gate should I use, the special gate where he used to be. And uh, he also made me reside in Nakuru. I have a home in Nakuru. It is because of him. He supported me in every sphere of my life. And uh, he gave me an advice that I will never forget. He's my really teacher how to lead, how to handle even my enemies and so on. Because with him, he didn't see an enemy as an enemy. He could pray for his enemy to make him see what he's seeing or what he's not seeing in him. And he taught us about uh, love of one another. And also he told us that uh, any assistance to man uh, is assistance to God. Service to man is service to God. Help to man is a help to God. And uh, we will remember him for a long time. And he also changed the lives of so many Kenyans by participating into education activities personally, making sure that our girl child is well prepared for the future. Uh, all judges you see, women, lawyers, and what have you, these are products of President Daniel Arab Moy. Just they a quick one, Bonatoli. Do you feel that there is unity today as many leaders from different political genres, political atmosphere coming today? Is there unity in this place at Parliament buildings today? Maybe because of this demise and uh, uh, his exit uh, might uh, bring us uh, more unity than what we are witnessing now. But Kenyans, you know, are funny people. Even when they are quarreling, don't think they will fight. This has been with Kenyans for a long time. And this is because of him, because he preached um, issues related to love, uh, unity, and uh, how people should integrate uh, together and work together. He was for a cohesive nation. He wanted people to work together, and he's a wonderful person. Some of us who are close to him will miss him. He was a worker number one. And before any Labor Day meeting, I could move or go to him for an advice. He could tell me. And if we are demanding something from government, he could summon ministers. One of the important things I will not forget, he told me, do your work. Don't think I will be able to ask you why you are doing your work. Be independent and fight for workers without fear or any contradiction of uh, any kind. And uh, he's the only president who could not be annoyed when I'm fighting his ministers. I'm fighting the ills in this nation, I'm fighting corruption, and I'm fighting all these things. He was so happy about it. And uh, if I didn't say anything to do with corruption or anything about workers, he could call and say, I told him, I've never heard about you. What is happening? Uh, I, I would tell him, say, you have also helped us. Everything is quite okay. Uh, and our demands, he could always endorse. Even President Kibaki also, I would say, he followed his